Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to discuss the second problem from the latest educational code forces on 109 problem name permutation sort. So it actually tells you that you have a, diff, a permutation, permutation means a, a set of array which consists of all the numbers which are different from 1 till n. Okay, and it is it's somehow shuffled out. Okay, so this is a permutation of uh, numbers from 1 till 5. Okay, now what you can do here is in one operation you can choose a sub array which is a contiguous segment and you can rearrange the elements in that summary in whatever format you want like you can rearrange them in whatever format you want now you can choose sub arrays from this array such that the condition is you cannot take a sub array of the whole size of the array you cannot take a sub array of the whole size like the whole array size you can take out sub arrays whatever size you want but it should not be equal to the total size of the array okay now your problem is Tell me how many number of operations you will require to sort out this whole array in an ascending order from smaller to greater. So given the constraint is that you cannot choose a sub array of the whole size but you have to choose sub arrays of whatever length except the whole size and you can arrange them like rearrange all the numbers in that sub array. Now the first thing which comes to my mind is okay if the whole array is already sorted out in an ascending order then the answer is zero. Okay. The second thing which comes to my mind is is there obviously because is there a somehow oh, like upper bound to this number upper bound means that uh, like I do not require 100 operations like I can do because we can take any sub array of length uh, 3 uh, like a length sorry and we can do this in some certain number of operations so I just thought about this and what I did was okay look into this example uh, 1 3 2 4 1 3 2 4 in this I just take out this sub array and just reverse like I can just arrange them out sort them out so it become 2 3 4 and it can be sorted in one step okay if the whole sub array is let's say that the whole sub array is reversed okay the, the sub array is 4 3 2 1 now what you can do in this problem is okay I cannot take the whole sub array so just take the maximum sub array which is this so as you can see if I take out this sub array it, it will become like this 2 3 4 1 okay now take out this maximum sub array so then it will become like this 2 1 3 4 okay now if I take out this sub array because now 4 is at this point so then it becomes 1 2 3 4 so it, be, it, it means that any sub array of whatever size because this is the maximum po positions which is different okay so it means that whatever is a sub array I can sort them out or I can find out the optimal play positions in at most three steps like I will require one step like 0 1 2 and 3 so whatever is the answer is like I can do at most three steps now what are the cases for one step or two steps and, uh, and three steps so I found out the for the three steps so for one step I just thought that okay I can choose I can choose a like I can choose a sub array such that it should not be the whole length okay but let's assume that the first element is one itself if I am guaranteed that the first element is 1 then I can just take the whole sub array except the first element and like I can sort the whole array out and it will become sorted. I hope you get the point because let's say that the array is whatever the first element is 1 and the next sub array is like 3, 2, 4, 5. I can just take out this sub array in every case and then it will become sorted out. So or else if the if the array is somewhat like this such that the last number is at its correct place at the maximum number is 5 and the first number is anything else like 2 1 4 3 so if the last number is at its place I can take out this array so it means that if the first element is at its correct place or the last element is at the correct place whatever anyone is at the correct place then what I can do here is I can just take the all the rest of the numbers and just can do this in one step I hope you get the point that's the solution for one step okay because uh, I do not think I do not get that uh, any other because I am taking out any generalized case if the first or the last element is in the correct place then we can just take the whole array else if the first and the last element are not at its correct place so let's say that the first element and the last element both okay so it uh, I am also telling that in this any one of them the first or the last is at its correct place let's say that both of them are not at its correct place so let's say that the number are like this 1 5 but uh, 2 4 and 3 so 1 is also not at its correct place and 5 is also not at its correct place and this is 2 and 4. Now what you can see in this example is I can just take out this sub array and take out this sub array. 
and sort them out so as you can see now it will become one two three and four five so this is the answer for second case now how you can see that what is happening here now what you can simply like what i actually thought here is okay if i have thought that both of them are not at its correct place the first and the last if or if the first and the last any one of them are at its correct place then we can do required one step if let's assume that both of them are required then the answer is two maybe the answer can also be three how we can distinguish between the two and the three so the so the thing which comes to my mind is okay let's assume that okay if let's assume that both like both of the first and the last elements are reversed okay so why we require three steps like first i thought that why we require three steps because three is the maximum value i i know the case for one i know the case for three if i somehow generalize the case for three then the, the, then the rest of the answers is two only now why the case of three is required so i just thought over the ex test example which i actually thought here is which is like four the whole array is reversed the whole array is reversed it means that i will first take out this sub array now because four should be at the last position and one should be at this position i hope you get the point so if i take out this sub array four will get to one step behind of this so it will become like this and now i have also want to make this at the first position so if i take now this four will get to its position okay but as you can see now one is not at this correct position i will also have to take one more so as you can see it means that if my first and the last element if they are reversed in its position because in that case only if in any other case let's say that the one is in middle then i can take out this as a sub area and i can do this in two steps but if the one and four both are on the extremes and they are reverse in position so the first case can be i just summarize again if any one of the numbers first or the last number are at its correct place any one of them the answer is one only because i can just take the whole other part if both one and four are at the extremes but are reversed then i have to do three steps because i have to first like bring them to some middle point and then like reverse them out else the answer is like if that is not possible then the answer is two only i hope you get the point and then intuition for this problem i can show the code part now so the code is also very similar to that what we'll do here is in this problem is we first check that whether the array is sorted or not if the array is already sorted then the answer is okay answer is zero steps required else what we'll do if the array is not sorted out i have three cases the condition for one is either the first element is the starting element or the last element is the ending element so i have just subtracted one from it you can also like you do not need to subtract it out you just have to check that the starting element if the a of 0 is equal to 1 or the last element is equal to n that then the answer is one else if the a of 0 is equal to the last element which is n and the last element is equal to 1 then the answer is 3 else the answer is 2 i hope you understand the logic and the code part for the problem uh, is just intuition building you just have to look over different cases and that's why like you, how you can get the solution for this problem it's not too difficult to understand you just have to write two three cases and just try to divert why this case and why this answer is happening i hope you understand the logic and code part you still have any doubt you can mention down ask an excellent link you coding and bye